Okay, we are over at Turnpoint Design. We're going to talk with Brandon Davis about uh, his CAD work, and we're making the keel mold here for Martha's new lead keel. How's it going, Brandon? Hi, Robert. How are you doing? It's nice to see you. Nice to see you. I'll try not to hit you with the laser beam there. Okay. So I thought we'd stop in and talk about um, the keel mold and the process and how you went about um, designing the mold to make the tool for this. I see you've got it up on the screen. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there it is. So we're we're going to build it in multiple parts. So we'll we'll build this bottom plate first. Um, try to make it one piece. And then we have um, stacks of plywood to make these other sections. Uh huh. So, and then the gray here, these are inserts that go in and give us the, the full shape, especially up here in the front of this keel. You can see it's got a lot of shape up in there. Yeah, that was a lot of uh, really complicated to design. I remember spending a lot of time on that with you. Yeah, yeah. So we. Yeah, that's that's it right there. You can see all the the holes there for um, um, putting all thread through and clamping this whole thing together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's that's the 3D model of the of the keel, the ballast, mm -hmm. and this over here. You can see you can see that we have um, this is all the sheets. This is in uh, 2D. This is uh, ready to go to the CNC cutter. Mm -hmm. And with this, we can cut the, the plywood. You can see that each one of this, this is, uh, you know, we're going to cut this six times and this three times. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah, 54 sheets of um, plywood. To so the, the machine tool. nests or this uh, software program nests the pieces for best results? As uh, far as that's, that's me. I'm okay. the master. Okay. So I, I'm the one who goes through there and just. Yeah, puts these things together. Uh huh. It's sort of fun. It's like a big puzzle. Yeah. Trying to get yeah. these things to fit the the best. Um, yeah. So you can see all these little little parts here. Mhm. Mm yeah. So that's that's it. Um, we can we can look at um, what the boat what it's going to look like on the boat. Yeah, that'd be great. In fact, that's where we started with the. Uh, the profile, and I remember at one point we were trying to um, change the weight a little bit. We had to um, work the weight up a few pounds. I remember we worked that part out with you, and uh, that worked out pretty neat. All right, yeah, that's a, a great thing about um, using a, the, the CAD to model this is that you can just click on it and get the exact volume mm -hmm. of that shape so you can you can know as you're designing it, you can figure out how much it's going to weigh and, you know, push push something a little bit further one direction or the other direction. So, mm -hmm. yeah, this is it. This is the, uh, these lines were just taken off of the, um, Original the plans? provided plans, mm -hmm. yeah. And you can see the line drawings and points here. Yes. That we used to, to lock this up, uh, different stations up here are labeled. Mm-hmm. Um, you can see a, a rudder modification, mm -hmm. and yeah, you can see the 3D keel down here, and the shape of the, the front of the keel. Mm -hmm. oh, that's fantastic. I often wonder what uh, B.B. Cronenshield or Harris Shaw or Burgess would have thought about having a machine like this back in the day when they were drawing by freehand. Yeah. Yeah. Would have answered a lot of their questions. Do. Yeah, imagine yeah. what they could do with this. <laughs> oh. Probably produce three times as many boats in their lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so, yeah. <laughs> There'd have been a lot less paper thrown over their shoulder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. No, that's great. It's fantastic. Well, I think I'll go out and take a look at the machine buzzing along and look at the one of the tables, vacuum tables. And then uh, when we build this, we can look at the pieces going together. It'd be kind of fun. Yeah, all right. That's great, Brandon. Thank you much. Okay, and, yeah, uh, thank you, Robert. Yeah, we'll talk to you later. Okay. Hi, Carter. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Okay, this is a CNC machine going to town, milling up uh, some of the other panels for other projects. Very quick machine. You can see the 
the way this thing cuts relentlessly. I can only imagine how long it would take to cut this out by hand. These are the parts here for Martha's Keel mold. They've been milled out with joint interlocking joints, so it kind of goes together. Here's that the, the bottom panels uh, being vacuum bagged together in order to be remachined to make all the shapes that are going to be inside. This way here, uh, turn point design is able to get quite a bit of pressure on these panels to make sure that they're well sealed and together. And these pieces here will be for the inserts. There's a, there'll be a three-dimensional insert on the forward and aft end of the mold to make the complex shapes. Well, in any event, I think we're gonna terminate the filming for today. We'll film again when we actually build the mold and then hopefully we'll even catch the lead going into it. That's where our hopes are. Have a good evening. We'll talk to you later.